Right, so I've got nothing as cool as that. That was really cool. Uh, my mind can be boring and not really very good. Uh, my name's Chris Williams. I work for a little company called Epimorphics, and we've been working with the Environment Agency over a number of years, helping them publish various bits of uh, water quality, water monitoring data of various sorts as open data. And we, we, we have to be a little data company. Uh, one of the pieces of work is the work of one of my colleagues, not my work, uh, was to actually put up um, the Environment Agency's flood monitoring data uh, on the web uh, as, as a web API. So uh, it was launched uh, about a year ago. Um, it's basically a URI and JSON based API, and it gives you access to all these things. So the flood areas, the reference data, the polygons, uh, that there is a geodesic. Uh, downloads that you can, get, you can get just by tugging on the right URI. We've got uh, flood alerts and warnings, those are updated every 15 minutes. Um, there's a three day flood risk forecast, and there's also in that feed there's a, there's a little uh, PNG image um, that, that's easily gettable just by tugging the URI and gives you a little summary map of, of, uh, of the country by sort of flood area, just a, a very visual sort of thing. And it's regrettable that I haven't actually put any examples there, but I've got some URIs you can, you can go get your own examples from. Then there's the, the various river monitoring stations. There's, there's, there's several thousand of those. Uh, there's, there's the measures at, at, at the monitoring station. So each monitoring station might be measuring flow, it might be measuring various heights. The, there's various measures that are taken, so there's reference data about each of the measures. And then Behind that, there's, there's the readings data, which again is updated every 15 minutes. Um, and there's lots of it. There's about of the order of 300,000 readings a day uh, go into this archive. Um, there's about four weeks' worth of that sort of online queryable through, through this API. And beyond that four weeks, uh, we've currently got a CSV archive of the daily readings back to early January. Got the year on, which should have been 2015. Um, so if you want, if you want the, his, the history, that that's there too. It's all available, and this is kind of the important thing. It's all available, or an important thing, anyways. All available under a, an open government license, which means it's freely reusable. Uh, basically, but the only encumbrance is give, to give pure attribution to, to the source. Um, it comes direct from the environment agency. It's not the main system that they use for uh, all the people who have a uh, sort of safety critical interest in the data. They have a, 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 a hub where they distribute um, data to all, all the various agencies that have uh, an arrangement with them. So we kind of, we behave like one of them, but we then republish the data on separate infrastructure with a lower, lower less demanding SLA, because we like to go home on weekends. <laughs> um, but it's there as open data for people to use. Um, so, but it, in terms of people's usage of that data, if they, you know, if they, if they basically try and bring our site down, it won't affect the, the safety critical side of it. So all, all the various safety critical agencies uh, have their own routes to the data. This is there really to open up the data for innovation, which hopefully is the sort of thing we're interested in over, over this weekend. Um, potentially to simulate apps and the like that might be interested in this data where, where the people using the data don't actually have to get into a deep engagement with the environment agency to get access to the primary source. Um, so what, do, what do the, the API looks like? Well, um, I'd say it's, it's a URI based API. Um, if you take any of those, I, I've shot all the URIs by basically taking the prefix and, 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 and moving, moving it out of the way so, so it's gone to other things. Um, I'll, I'll make the slides available, but all those are links. So if you click on any of those, those links in the slides, uh, it will take you to what the response looks like. The response is, by default, we're all JSON. So this is how it looks for the flood areas. You'll see that um, there, are, there are parameters that you can add to do things like page through it, or you can say, I'm interested in flood areas. The leads thing is just, if there's a, if there's a mention of leads in any of the labeling, it's just a text search, it's not a and semantic search there. Um, you can see simple, simple extensions in your eyes if you want to, um, 
if you want to get a polygon. Uh, that's all linked in the data. I've got a slide coming up. I'll just show you a little bit of the data. Not too much. It's very easy to go explore. Um, flood alerts, flood warnings. And, uh, the, these ones here, for instance, will get you a daily image of the, of the three days ahead flood forecast. Just a little outline map of the UK with flood regions in different colours depending on the sort of warning status. Uh, stations, this is the, monitor, the, the monitoring stations, the measurements, uh, these look a little bit uh, contrived, but don't worry about remembering those. Uh, if you go to the station, it, will, it, it, it contains a list of all the various measures within it, or that it, that it takes, and then, um, let's see, so this is, or, or you can query and say, well, I'm interested in measures that are river levels, from a downstream stage on a weir, well, it's downstream stage on a weir. There's various qualifiers you can use, um, and then say, well, I don't want all of them because I don't want to be overloaded and get me 50. And, and there's way for pages through, so there's an offset parameter you can use to page through. Um, or you can say, I know a particular station, I want all the measures at a particular station. Down at the bottom, various ways of accessing the readings. Uh, the data is updated on a 15 minute interval. We do have some people that seem to be polling every station every five minutes. It's not very useful or, e or easy. That the, if you want the very latest readings that, that we've got available, um, that's the place to go. Um, but it's not going to change more frequently than once every 15 minutes. Um, if you want readings and measures for a particular station, you can also do it this way. If you've got an ID like a station ID like this. You can plug it in there in the, in, in the URIs and use that. Um, you probably can't see that. The results format by default to JSON. Um, it's got quite a lot of URIs sprinkled through that. Depending on whether you're a living data geek or not, you may choose to close your eyes to the URIs, but they're all in there so that you can actually follow, follow through the different bits of data. Um, for, some of, for some of the, um, well, for all, the for, all, for, for all of the endpoints, You've got um, the option of getting CSVs, some native RDF formats, and in some cases, particularly stations and measures, you can get a nice sort of HTML skinned page, shows what things are on the map. Uh, and you can see some of the some of the, the sort of associated data, which if you look at the JSON, you'll see. So for instance, there's a there's a stage datum, and then there's some information about the stage datum in terms of how it's, how it's situated with respect to your survey datums. Um, as I said, I said earlier, the, there's, a, there's an archive of CSVs, uh, a little, uh, a little uh, tool so that you can find them and download them. As I said, there's about 300,000 entries in each of those daily CSVs. Uh, I'm just about there, I think. Um, there's some documentation, click on the link there, follow the link, so it's blood monitoring dot slash reference. There's, uh, there's a, there's a reference that document that's actually up, but much of what's in the slides came from that. Um, but it's there, we expansion on that. I'm here to help over the weekend, so if, uh, if, if this API kind of floats or goes or the, the data's behind it, if you want to use it, come around and grab me, uh, I'll go get going. If you find yourself wanting to contact me afterwards, then some coordinates there. Very happy to receive feedback, and the environment agency would be happy to receive feedback. <coughs> on it too. So, so that's been done. Hopefully that was not too brisk, not too boring. Thanks, Stuart.